morning. It's Monday, March 10th. Um, yesterday as usual, Sunday was my rest day. It's set up as a rest day in the leg challenge too, so glad I created that one so we could set it up that way. Um, so yeah, I'm at the church. Just, just finished C25K week one, day two. Must say it was a whole lot easier um, doing it on Saturday than it is today. Today was much harder breathing. My legs weren't quite into it. Quite. Anyway, I did do a warm up today before the challenge or the C25K so I don't know you know typically for me I get between two and four hours of sleep every night doesn't matter what time I go to bed um, that's usually about the amount of sleep I get is two to four hours Today with being March 10th, today is closed day for at work for the accounting group. So it's kind of a big day. Um, I woke up at about 10 to 4. My Fitbit alarm is set to go off at 4. So I got up, you know, used the bathroom and stuff, and I just, I just said, I'm just way too tired. I need to go back to bed so I can be awake and do my job properly. So, went in, turned off my Fitbit alarm so it didn't go off. Turned on my regular alarm, crawled back into bed. I just laid there, I couldn't, I couldn't go back to sleep. I'm like, well, geez, if I'm awake anyway, I was gonna come to the church. So anyway, I'm here. Um, during my warm up, I did my squats. I mean, not my squats, my, my lunges. Um, I didn't film my warm up, so uh, it's just have to take them for a word. The lunges are done, and then right at the start of my cool down in the C25K week one day two, I did my squats, which you'll see in a moment.
I don't know, I weighed, weighed myself yesterday like I usually do on Sundays. And I was up I don't know, half a pound or a pound from what I was on Friday. My all-time low on Friday of 281.9. So I didn't record, didn't do pictures for, for my weekly weigh-in for Transformer, and I didn't record it anywhere. Just because I figured I'd wait and do my official weekly weigh-in for the Transformer on Weigh-in Wednesdays. Which, you know, from the way the weekly prizes have gone, weighing in on Wednesday will be a huge, will probably give me a much, much better chance of winning something. For any of those, any of you in the diet bet, I don't know. To me, it seems like they should have, <coughs> this week, for those who aren't in it, um, on top of your entry free for the Transformer, which if you pay up front, it's $125. <clears throat> if you pay monthly, it's $25 a month. On top of that, you could have also paid an extra 20 bucks. 20 bucks would have given you, um, what is it, 24, 24 tokens, I think it is. Now if you buy the tokens, you can do an official weigh-in with your picture and everything using one of your tokens every week of the Transformer. And then anybody who did an official weigh-in that week with the token gets entered into a draw for prizes. So many things like why well, things scales and uh, blenders and I think last week somebody won a bike. Anyway, horseshoes or something like that. So... That's all well and good. Like, I paid the extra 20 bucks. I thought, why not? An extra shot of winning something. But now that we're I don't know, four rounds into this, there are people who are winning for a second time. And their prizes are generally in the 50 to $200 range. So, in my mind, if somebody wins one prize, they should be out of the runnings to win another prize. Or at least, or at least take their name out. They're not allowed to win another prize for at least another two months or something like that. You know, like, if I only put 20 bucks into the tokens and I won one prize that's valued at 50 bucks or even $150, I think I'd be good. Um, whatever I, I, I think diet bets change the rules that way but what do I know I'm just one schmo anyway um, I'm just going to do a little more a little more walking um, it's 5.13am and I'm up to 4200 steps so I think I'm going to do another 5 to 10 laps and then I need to go and get ready and get my son up so he can get ready and I can get to work and try and have a good day at work without hopefully falling asleep oh one more thing I was going to update you on I um, can't remember how long ago but I mentioned in a video a while back about my shoulder my left shoulder. Um, I've been having a lot of pain. I was having a lot of pain. It's been going on maybe th two or three months. And right my, around my left shoulder blade. Um, it didn't seem to matter if I moved it. Uh, it, was, it just happened. Um, it just seemed to happen whenever. So I finally saw a doctor. Um, it wasn't my regular doctor. It was at a walk-in. Um, so I finally saw a doctor. He looked at it. He asked me, you know, if I move my arm, does it hurt more? And at the, you know, at that time, I really didn't. So 
it didn't hurt anymore just to move my arm and stuff like that. So he's like, well, you know, it appears to be more muscular than, um, than like skeletal or bone issue. So he told me, he suggested that I need to go see a physiotherapist for that. I told him about my knee, which has been giving me problems. And with my knee, it's the inside of my knee, not the outside of my knee that's hurting. Um, which doesn't seem to have anything to do with the arthritis that's, that they found in my knees. So he gave me a letter to take to uh, physio. So I have my first appointment uh, tomorrow for that. So hopefully I can figure out what's wrong and get some relief from that. Um, but what's kind of funny is that since I saw the doctor, it's been getting worse. And besides the pain happening more, it's not just pain. There's also a burning sensation um, at times. There's, sometimes there's no pain. It just burns. Um, and then what's happened over the last week um, is I had uh, kind of on my side, but kind of close to where the shoulder blade is, um, it seems kind of like more like a nerve thing. Like I'd get this really sharp pain um, that would just, it would, it would come. Like a, I could feel it starting so I could brace myself for it kind of thing. But anyway, so it's, it seems to have gotten worse since I saw the doctor. So hopefully when I see the physio, tomorrow, physio guy tomorrow, he can have some good ideas. I'm hoping that he can uh, help me with my running, I'm wondering if maybe I have some uh, biomechanical type issues going on that he can maybe suggest some ways to improve it. So anyway, it's uh, it'll be good to get in and see, to see him and, and see if there's anything you can do to help. But uh, I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you uh, keep pushing for your goals and I uh, hope you reach your goals really soon. Talk to you later.